Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Aurora, I live in Italy and I'm very passionate about vintage fashion, vintage home decor and thrifting in general. So today with my mom we are visiting our favorite charity shop. Charity shops are not very common here in Italy so this is a very special place for us and we always find such great bargains. Of course at the end of the video we'll come back here at home and I will show you my haul. So stay tuned for that and now let's go thrifting! happened to your hand? I had an accident. Well, I am so tired all the days. Uh, they, they call it a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are looking for uh, designer clothes. First of all, designer clothes. Then um, maybe some basic pieces that we can style uh, during spring and summer. Home decor. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Sunglasses, because I lost mine in France. In France, I had the accident uh, to <laughs> sleeping in the bathroom of an hotel. It was a nice holiday, all the same. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Today they have a special room for vintage clothes. A new one. A new one. This is like a temporary room. Today in this temporary exposition we can find the vintage clothes and accessories that they used for a fashion show last weekend. And we are very lucky to be here today. Look at this Borsalino hat. It's a true vintage piece and the price is 50 euros. This hat is giving me summer holiday vibes. I love hats but I don't have much space to keep them. I found Escada. Too big for me. Vediamo. Brillantosa. In my last video I showed you that I got a vintage vest very similar to this one. I love this bright pink and the blue color makes it easier to style with jeans. I like to wear vests and this is a very special one. Look at these embroideries. I'm not going to buy it, but for 8 euros I'm sure somebody else will be happy to grab it. This shirt dress is very vintage and very fun. The price is 18 euros because it is signed by Ken Scott. You can see the initials on the buttons and also the signatures printed on the fabric. Cos'è? Valentino Butti. The prices in this charity shop are so good. Only 50 euros for this blazer by Valentino. Bello però. Now it's time for the best selection of pretty dresses. I guess they are all children's sizes, but they are so cute. I like this jacket by Fort and Maddox and even if I don't know this brand, 10 euros sounds like the right price and I'm wondering how I could style it. Oh, nice jacket! By Luisa Spagnoli. Nice! This bolero has a nice golden color and is knitted with very thick threads. The label shows an old logo of Luisa Spagnoli and I've found out that it is from the 50s. My mom spotted this top by Missoni and she's going to try it on later. Lovely. So 
I truly like how they made this special exposition of clothes and accessories. Everything is well displayed and everything is on sale, from the mirrors to the tablecloth. Uh, and these shoes, my guess, are very cool. Many cute things. This leather jacket caught my attention. I like how the leather is printed with flowers and it has a padding inside, so it's perfect for winter, but it still has that fitted cut that I like. 60 euros, I really like it. I'm looking for colored sandals and summer shoes in general. Um, these seem comfortable and this color is so unusual, but 48 euros is a little out of budget. Then here we have Yves Saint Laurent, for only 35 euros, would be a great bargain, but there is something about the shape that I don't like very much. I am always looking for pants and I prefer cotton and linen for summer and I would like to find a pair of white linen trousers. Maybe these are the ones. <laughs> Let's see. Strange way of closing it. <laughs> yes. Maybe a bit oversized. Overpriced also. <laughs> prices have increased a yes. bit. Maybe they increased the prices. <laughs> have you... They have been used during that show. C'è anche un camerino bellissimo. Ciao. Also the hangers are for sale. These are not very old, but I like them. This one is 10 euros and they also have the matching one. 25 euros for Miss Sony. I think it's very good. How is it? <laughs> nice. Very nice. Of course, uh, without... Uh, without that. Without <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying on Valentino. What do you think? Maybe too much padded shoulders. No, it is a characteristic mm. of the jacket. The waistline the is the waist perfect. Is right. Yes. The price is so good, but I'm not sure that I would wear it, so I'm leaving it here for somebody else. I'm also trying on this vintage blazer. It looks good with denim jeans, maybe with a darker wash, but I also have a pair of pants to style with it. Before going to the permanent clothing section, let's have a quick look to the homeware section. I love hand-painted ceramic, I also resell it in my webshop together with other home decor pieces and silk scarves and accessories, so if you want to have a look at my webshop, you can always find the link down in the info box. This is a cool display piece for jewelry. It's in very good conditions and the price is only 15 euros and now I think I should have grabbed it. Yes, definitely. This set is so cute for only 6 euros, but I'm afraid it won't survive during shipping. This blue set is by Alessi, I love their tableware, 50 euros for two pieces, but the pieces are four, <laughs> well, I don't know. Vintage basket from Sardinia, it's very fun, I love the color, and for 1 euro 50 I think I should have grabbed it, but then something else caught my attention. Superga shoes, I never have enough Superga shoes and this color is on trend this season, but unfortunately they are not my size. A vintage bag by Ken Scott, I can remember that when I was young this pattern was everywhere. And this one is by Marella. On this rack they always have designer pieces and high-end brands, so let's have a look. This is by Luisa Spagnoli, too big for me. This shirt has a nice cut, but it's by Zara and it's 14 euros. Mm. 
My mom was telling me about a blue dress that you will see later. This t-shirt is a dress, but 14 euros, it's a no. Then we have Lacoste for 15 euros, Liu Jo, Campagnolo, Armani jeans, but too big for me. Nike, sportswear, this is a skirt by Max & Co, nice cut, but too big for me. This trench coat is by Benetton. If it was more like pink or coral, I would have grabbed it, even if 16 euros is a bit too much anyway. Maybe it's true that the prices are rising. Carina, $19.90. E questa di Montclair? $19. Non uso tanto le polo. I am always looking for silk scarves. There have been a couple of times where we found very good bargains here, but not today. My mom has bought a vintage beach towel. Carino. This dress is very cool. The brand is Coveri Collection. I just didn't like the price. Per papi. Yes, for my husband. <laughs> Even if he doesn't like it, I want him to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the fitting rooms. Okay. We've got many things to try on. Non abbiamo ancora guardato gli occhiali da sole. C'è anche Dior. Dior uomo. Mm. Mm, non mi piace il modello. Questi sono finti Raven. Mi sa che non c'è niente. Paper bag shorts by H&M, 6 euros. But I need shorts, so it's okay. But there is something strange about the fit. Look what you've found. Beautiful dress by Chloe. 35 euros. I was in love with this shirt until I discovered that it is by Shein, so it's a no. My mom is going to buy this polo shirt by Armani Jeans, it is 12 euros 80. And she also tried on this sheer top by Kinzo, very fun, the price is 18 euros. Here we are at last. <laughs> it was fun, but we are so tired now. <laughs> Eventually, I bought the Missoni top because uh, we are going to the seaside with my husband because my daughter still works. And uh, I left there that dress by Chloe. And you did it wrong because it was nice. I can't buy everything. Okay, I didn't okay. really love it, so I've got to learn to leave it behind. <laughs> to leave behind okay. things. Okay. So let's go to have lunch. <laughs> Tutorial is coming with us. It's difficult to use the left hand. Ravioli with tuna and. Come si dice asparagi? Asparagus. Asparagus. And uh, lasagne with cheese. I'm gonna write it on the screen. The vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> We are doing an unboxing. Et voilà! Ah! Havaianas! Oh, so cute! And the other one? <laughs> yes, <that's laughs> the other one. <laughs> Maybe with the other hand is better. One right, one left. That's, oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Here we are back at home. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. If you did, please remember to give a thumbs up to this video. This will really help my channel to grow. I thank you so much for your support. And now I'm gonna show you my haul. It's gonna be a very exciting one, so stay tuned. Well, before starting with the things that I got at the charity shop, I just wanted to show you something that I just received because I got it online. It's a silk scarf by Fendi. Look how gorgeous it is. Can you see that there's the double F in the middle? Here it is, F, 
F. I started with this one because it goes well with my shirt today. Here you can see the original label. It is always important to check if there is still a label on because the value of the scarf increases. Here's how I would style it. Here it is. What do you think? I like it very much very very much so in the last video some of you asked me about my collection of silk scarves and actually I have two videos here on my channel so if you want to check them out you can find the links down in the info box now let's talk about the pieces that I got at the charity shop uh, the first one is this wonderful jacket it's very fun because it has kind of bows do you call them bows or ribbons but anyway it's a vintage piece from the 90s it has padded shoulders maybe i need to change my outfit to show you this one so here i am <laughs> so oh maybe i should remove this yeah so I'm wearing the pants that I got last year when we were on holiday in France. I've been looking for the right jacket to style with them for so long and now here it is. The jacket is by the brand Fort and Maddox. It's 100% cotton, it's made kind of a jeans, a denim jeans fabric and it's really soft and comfortable. I also found the right shoes. Very fun, very unique, I'm very happy with this purchase. Then before going on with the clothes, I wanted to show you the couple of home decor things that I got. So I got this basket. How can you call this? Slouchy basket? Let's call it the slouchy basket. You can put plants inside, maybe um, a dish with candles, maybe towels. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but surely it's really, really trendy right now. Then I got this fake plant. This one was two euros. You can use it also to clean. No, just joking. I will use it as a decoration for my bathroom because there are some spots where the light is not enough for a real plant. So I'm using fake plants, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> then I got this cute cup. It matches with other two that I already own. Uh, maybe it matches. I don't know. Let me check. Perfect. I think they look cute together. Then I got this couple of candles. You know that buying them from the retail shops is always so expensive. I got this one for 3 euros. It has shells inside and then this one matches very well. I got it for 1 euro 50 so they were very cheap and uh, we love to have candles and to light them up during the evenings, maybe also outside in our garden. So yeah, I can't say that they are useful but surely they are very cute. So I've been to that same charity shop also a month ago always with my mom and uh, I found other things so I'm gonna show you a little bit of footage and then we'll come back here and we'll go on with the haul. My mom got this top by Matsmara, you'll see it styled in one of my next videos. Then this was Armani jeans, Max & Co. This was a vintage piece by Crizia. This is... oh this was by Moschino. Moschino Boutique. Ralph Lauren, this was a male shirt for 8 euros, but uh, extra small is uh, too small for me. This was by Zara and the print was so lovely. I don't know if you can see it, there are little horses. I tried on this sweater by Puma for around 9 euros, I think. Uh, it was nice and in perfect conditions. This pink shirt has very long sleeves, maybe too long. The shirt by Zara was cute, but not in excellent conditions, so I left it there. Another pink piece, so this was by Moschino. Very cute and the price was around 35 euros, but the fabric is more like the one of a cardigan and I prefer more structured pieces. This Missoni dress was only 30 euros, the print is very special and colorful and my mom likes it very much. Then we found this one by Max Mara, 35 euros, but it was a size extra large and uh, probably it was also missing the belt. 
Again, Moschino, 35 euros. This was dark brown, but you know that I prefer lighter colors, so this was a no. And then my mom found this one, Emporio Armani, for only 10 euros. As you saw in the video, I got this sweater. It is by Puma. Nice, nice color and um, I loved it so much. Can't remember exactly the price. I really need more sweaters like this. So let me try it on. As you can see, the fit is really perfect. I already used it a couple of times. It's really comfortable. So something strange happened. That week I was in a pink mode. I don't know what happened, but I kept on finding pink items. And uh, yeah, let me show you. So I found not one, but two vintage belts. They are both pink. And uh, this one is by Liola. Very special, it's made of suede leather. It's too long for me. Uh, well, I will resell it. While this one, it seems made of ostrich leather. Actually, I don't know if it's real leather. Yeah, maybe it's not real leather. This one fits me. Oh, this is too short. I'm feeling too squeezed. I don't know, maybe with a dress. Maybe if I wear it here. This is what happens when you don't have the time to try on everything. And speaking about big brands, this sweater is by Isabelle Maron. How pretty! I've seen online the prices of the sweaters and they are really, really expensive. Machu Picchu is one of the places that I really want to visit someday, so it's on my list and the sweater is so cool and it is pink it was in a very discounted area i got it for two euros so it has been such a great bargain it's a bit large for me but i think i can wear it this way hmm? what do you think so yeah when you're shopping don't worry if you find something that's a little too large for you because you can always tuck it inside your jeans and this is always a great solution. Last week I also had a moment for stripes so I got this one that is by Mango 100% cotton I guess it's better for spring here it is we are doing the same trick that we did before I really love it I love the colors I love the stripes it's a cool transitional piece that you can wear during spring but the colors remind me about summer so yeah very pretty then I got a pair of pants it's so difficult for me to find pants that fit me so I'm very glad that I found one and then I got this cute jacket that I can wear during summer evenings and I'm gonna try them together so somebody told me that you can't wear stripes and polka dots together but I think they match quite well don't you think? The jacket is a very good quality jacket, it's by the brand Frincinella, it's made of cotton and uh, the pants, uh, well, are kind of fast fashion, but I need pants, so I got them. I got them for 2 euros each, so for 4 euros I got an entire outfit. Last but not least, I got another scarf, it's made of silk chiffon and it is by the brand Gabrielli, it has nice flowers and uh, I think it matches well with the jacket. Here it is. This is how I would style it. Let me pick a bag. Let's try this one by Cucinelle. It's an Italian brand. Oh, it looks so pretty. I really like it. So this was the last outfit of the day. We've got to say goodbye. But thank you so much for being here with me. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more contents like this one. Here you can see a video suggested for you. It is all about vintage fashion and home decor. And I will see you there or in the next episode. Ciao!